The ACE system on the Pilatus PC-24 is equipped with two primary flight displays, or PFDs. The PFDs provide pilots with a large amount of information, organized in a manner that reduces pilot workload while increasing situational awareness. The PFDs are a pilot's primary interface for viewing normal flight instruments such as attitude, heading, altitude, airspeed, and vertical speed. The landscape design of the PFD allows for additional information such as primary engine instruments and a radio tuning window. The display is divided into three parts. Two-thirds of the window contains the primary flight instruments, while two one-sixth windows contain the engine instruments and the radio tuning window. The primary interface for the PFD is the PFD controller. For more information on the PFD interface, refer to the video on the PFD controller. The flight mode enunciator displays autopilot and flight director mode information. Lateral modes are shown on the left and vertical modes on the right. Armed modes are displayed in white, while captured modes are in green. The attitude indicator receives data from the IRS to create the synthetic vision display or create a blue over brown horizon that spans across the two-thirds window. To help the pilot maintain situational awareness, the blue over brown format is displayed during unusual attitudes. In addition, during unusual attitudes, red chevrons will be displayed pointing towards the zero pitch reference line. The flight director command bars are shown in magenta and can be displayed in single queue, cross pointer, or flight path vector modes. The slip skid indicator shows acceleration around the yaw axis. An acceleration in a slip or skid is shown with an arrow. If the acceleration approaches 1G, the arrow will turn amber. The ACE system also provides a means for the pilot to set the minimum altitude for an approach. This is a convenient way for the pilot to be reminded of the approach minimums. As the aircraft approaches the minimum altitude, the approach minimums enunciator will be displayed. The minimums display can be toggled between barometric and radio altitude. However, radio altitude should only be used as a reference and not to determine arrival at approach minimums. A marker beacon display indicates when the aircraft passes over marker beacons. The label and color indicate which marker beacon is being flown over. Radio altitude is displayed on the PFD when the aircraft is below 2,500 feet AGL. The airspeed indicator displays calibrated airspeed on a speed tape. It also includes a trend vector that shows the speed that the aircraft is projected to be at in six seconds. The airspeed display can change color if the aircraft approaches an overspeed or stall condition. It also features speed bugs that can be used to set takeoff and landing V speeds. A dynamic speed bug uses angle of attack information to provide the pilot with a stable approach speed in all configurations. The Epic Ace system features an FMS speed schedule to reduce pilot workload. When the speed knob is set to FMS, the system automatically calculates aircraft speeds for each phase of flight. For more information, refer to the video on the FMS speed schedule. Indicated altitude is shown on an altitude tape. An altitude pre-select window displays the selected altitude. The altitude tape also shows ground proximity when the aircraft is below 550 feet AGL. The vertical course deviation indicator is color-coded to indicate the navigation source. It also features preview pointers and differentiates between advisory and coupled VNAV indications. The vertical speed indicator shows instantaneous vertical speed. It also displays a bug that can be used to set the vertical speed target during a climb or descent. 
Honeywell's state-of-the-art Synthetic Vision System, or SVS, comes standard with Pilatus PC24 Epic Ace platform. In addition to standard flight and navigation data, SVS provides a three-dimensional view of surrounding terrain, obstacles, and runways. SVS also features a flight path symbol, which indicates the current flight path angle, as opposed to the pitch attitude of the aircraft. The horizontal situation indicator can be displayed in a half arc or a full compass rose format. Lateral deviation indications are color-coded to indicate the navigation source. Items such as traffic, weather, or TAWS and lightning data can be overlaid on the HSI display. Approach enunciations, as well as navigation source information, are shown to the right of the HSI. The engine indication window displays analog and digital N1 and ITT information, as well as digital N2, fuel, and oil information. The FADEC calculated thrust ratings are shown on the N1 analog gauge as well. The radio tuning window contains the active and standby nav and comm frequencies along with the ADF and transponder controls. Frequencies can be tuned using the PFD controller and can be swapped using the bezel buttons, CCD or MFC. The radio tuning window also provides additional details for the selected radio, ADF or transponder when the detail button on the PFD controller is pushed. The detail windows can be used for tasks such as changing the display format for radio frequencies or changing the transponder in use. The PFD is versatile and can accommodate even more information in the event of multiple display failures. If both of the MFDs fail, the PFD will enter a composite view. In this mode, the PFD includes a CAS window and a composite system summary page. Different system summary pages can be displayed. However, the information may be in a compressed format. For more information, refer to the video on display reversion. The PFD on the EPIC ACE system combines advanced features with intuitive design to reduce pilot workload and increase situational awareness. For more information on the PFD, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide.